guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to get your LG G3, uh, I guess any variant really, any model, uh, back to stock firmware. So our stock LG you know, firmware. So uh, we're going to be following this XDA guide and I'm going to show you step by step how it's done and hopefully this all works out very well. So there are a few things we need to download to make sure everything runs smoothly. We're going to be, need we're going to be needing to download our firmware and our drivers and our LG Flash tool all together. So, this works on all versions of Windows, I assume. They said something about problems with Windows 8 and 8.1, but I'm on Windows 8.1 and it went well last time. So today, I'll be showing you how to do it. So first off, I'd like to get started. Pretty much you just want to download your firmware. So, I like doing the IMEI, where you put in your IMEI here, and then it will tell you what firmwares you can download. Uh, unfortunately, I only have one, which is the lollipop. So, well, that's great. At least I have one. Otherwise, you can hit up this firmware files uh, link here, that is provided, and it has pretty much KDZs or of everything, in any model. So, you would look for our D855, but I'm not sure if it's like the 32 gig or the 16 gig. So, I would definitely actually pre prefer downloading from LGKDZ.com. So here, you just type in your IMEI, hit download. And you should get a a um sorry a link here at the bottom with uh, either one or two firmwares. So it'll link it'll list your firmwares down there and just hit download. And these are about 1.7 gigs each. So be sure to grab a cup of coffee or um, yeah. So you gotta wait a little while for that to download. Next thing we want to download is are the LG drivers. So if you're not Verizon, you download this, and if you're Verizon, you download that. Pretty simple and you want to download our LG Flash tool and that that's just type in the number and click download down here that's it and next you just want to put all these together in a folder so you want to install your drivers and you just do that by running it and then hitting yes to that admin prompt and you'll uh, be greeted with this and that will install in a couple of minutes so I don't need to install this because I've already done it and I'm gonna have a file here Sorry for that sound. Uh, that was just uh, Adobe Media Encoder. So I have saved a KDZ here, which is my variant, the D855. 20 meaning lollipop and H meaning probably the region. So that's 1.4 gigs. And also we need to have the LG Flash tool extracted here. So I guess it's a little bit confusing right now how I'm laying it out, but just as long as you know where everything is and you know what I'm talking about, then you should be fine. So, so once you have installed drivers, that's cool. You just want to open up the Flash tool, and we want to run this exe as an administrator. You see, I've copied my KDZ file to the same location. You don't have to do that, but I did anyway. So just right-click, run as admin, and you want to click on yes to that prompt. Just give it a second. So you want to leave it as CDMA. You want to leave it as DIAG, and you want to select a KDZ file over here. Just click that open button and just navigate to wherever it is. I put mine in the same folder so it's going to appear right there for me. So I'm just going to double click to open it and it will get my model and version and all that. And now, if you want to, if you click on normal flash, it will like do a OTA update, so to speak. That's if you're already on the LG firmware, I guess. But if you're from like Synergy mode or something else, you would need a full, uh, like a reset pretty much. So you want to uh, click on CSE flash. And you want to leave all this, don't press anything else, hit start. And then another pop up should come up. Uh, you can just leave this. Uh, it doesn't matter what language you pick, but um, just leave it. Or you can change it to English, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to change it to English because last time it had uh, these like question marks instead of actual Korean characters. So you just want to wait for that to open. And so, uh, it's telling us that there is no LG phone, and this is when I will show you how to get into LG's download mode. So basically, what you want to do is turn off your phone. So you see I'm on Cyanogen mode right now, let's we'll power off. Uh, this should erase everything on your SD card, internal one at least, so I would back up everything you need on that to an external SD card, or just copy it to your computer. So to get into download mode, all you need to do is make sure your device is off, and just hold power, sorry, volume up on the back here. Vol hold volume up and plug in your USB cord. So nothing else, just volume up. 
and we should get into what we have download mode right here so it should look like that and you just leave your phone alone and we now will head back to our LG mobile support tool that said retry so just click on retry right now and it should analyze our phone settings at the same and also this this will take up to upwards of 30 minutes I would actually say it took a while last time had to uh, get everything ready and had a few problems along the way but well, hopefully it runs smooth this time Alright, so it looks like it's done its analyzation and we're going to be upgrading our firmware right now. So our phone is still on that firmware update thing and when you get this pop up, don't worry about it, just leave it, uh, just move it to the side and our software upgrade should actually continue. This is the problem with mine, I thought there was actually something wrong, but it turns out that that's alright, it's what it's supposed to be doing. So just leave that pop up there until our progress bar is pretty much at 99 or 100 and I'll get back to you then. So right now our phone is updating along with our computer. You see it's already going up to 62% in pretty much 2 to 3 minutes. I'm not sure if it included that time that we were waiting for our phone to be plugged in into download mode. But anyway, look at this. It's actually going pretty quick. And then our phone as well, it's almost done. It's at 94%. So I'm guessing the rest is just to do small updates. So it's 100% on our phone right now. And our phone has restarted. And it looks like our thing is at 80 but I think this is just waiting for it to restart. So that's all right. Once it hits around 80 to 100, and on now our phone looks like it's booting up or doing its first boot. It's already past the LG screen. So if you do actually get into a boot loop, you want to boot into recovery and do a factory reset. But it looks like mine is all right for the moment. So pretty much we now wait for our phone to turn on, and I'll see you guys when that happens. So you, uh, when it, your phone or when it reaches 100%, the application will actually crash. So you can just hit close program, and that's it. So all you need to do now is you can close this as well. And all you need to do now is just wait for your phone to turn on. Currently, it's at the LG boot up screen, so it's going to look like that with the blue and green flashing LEDs. So that's how you. So that's it for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped you, and hope it worked for you. Uh, if it didn't, feel free to leave a question down below. I will try my best to answer the question, but if I can't help you, I'll probably redirect you to XDA developers, and maybe someone over there can help you out. So, uh, this is how you can restore your LG G3, any model, any variant, to back to stock uh, through this one method using the KDZs or Zs. Um, so that took around uh, 10 minutes almost, and our phone's just finishing its boot. It looks like. So pretty much in the space of 10 minutes, you can get your phone back to factory or stock firmware, and now it's doing its upgrade through Android. So thank you guys for watching this video, and thank you for subscribing. Please feel free to leave a like down below if this helped you in any way, shape, or form, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.